Good morning, and welcome to Awake in the Dawn. May 10th, Genuine Freedom. So if the Son sets you free, you're truly free. John chapter 8, verse 36. In a busy shopping mall, I saw a young boy returning to his mother with a bucket of buttered popcorn he had been sent to purchase. Just as he reached his mother and other siblings, he slipped and spilled the entire contents of the bucket on the floor. He immediately received a loud scolding and the entire area could hear. The boy apologized for his mistake profusely, all while attempting to gather the popcorn into the bucket. The mother did not stop condemning her young son for his mistake, telling him how foolish and stupid he was, even as he continued to apologize. Many of us have experienced the unforgiveness of others, perhaps from our parents, our close friends, or even our Christian brothers and sisters. In our own sin, there are times we have even been unforgiving to those who have hurt us. However, by the mercy, grace, and greatness of God, we have been fully, completely, entirely forgiven in Christ Jesus. If we have been set free by Christ, we are free indeed. God does not continue to remind us of our failures, holding them against us. God does not embarrass or chastise us for tripping and falling when temptation comes our way. Surely, by His Holy Spirit, God brings His holy and loving conviction in our lives to teach us and steer us away from the disaster of sin. But when we repent of our sin, He welcomes us in joyfully as a forgiving, loving, grace-filled parent. There is no retaliation from our Heavenly Father. The cross of Christ, the redemptive, completed work of grace, is a finished work. Father, I deserved punishment for my sins, yet you sent your Son to die for them, to give me genuine freedom and abundant life. I am unworthy of this gift, but I treasure it and ask that I would be a good steward of your forgiveness, freely giving forgiveness and mercy to others. I praise you with an overflowing heart of gratefulness. Amen. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. I want to thank you again for joining me this morning for Awake and the Dawn. Please, I encourage you to go to awakenthedawn.com, take a look at the ministry tools that we have available for you.